Is that? I said a hundred, like over a thousand, probably a million. Okay, so I gotta fight these niggas? My master, <laughs> safe. The scriptures, sound. All I ever wanted was a life in my mountain, free from you and your so-called merits. Those high above don't trust me. I understand that. And they send you and those knuckleheads to threaten me, to obey and serve once more. <laughs> I understand that too, but what I don't understand is... You bastards killing my kind! Not just any monkey. He's a monkey of merit. A monkey was made Buddha once. None other than me can challenge him to a duel. Look, monkey. I don't make a habit of fighting someone I've bested before. Here's my offer. If you lose, I'll take you to the Celestial Court. They will stay and level your mountain. But if I lose, I shall certainly take revenge, and they will level your mountain nonetheless. Hmm. How tragic would that be, huh? You are one of the court. We don't need to resort to violence. How about you bend the knees, admit the wrongs, and we can put this behind us? <laughs> All these years, except for that pig, you're the one who talks the tallest tales. Good, I am entertained. Speaking of entertainment, 
wouldn't it be fun if I pluck your extra eye out for my snack and allow you to keep the other two? Well, you know, he's crazy. Because I'd hate to let you miss how I'll slaughter each mongrel of the court. Those below, those above, and that black mutt of yours. Come at me, all of you. They gave you no chance. I don't know how to make more. I heard you were talking. The victorious fighting Buddha. Have you any idea how many would give their everything for immortality? Immortality? <laughs> For that word, all realms and beings have ruined themselves. Court welcomed you, foul monkey, yet you remain untamed. None shall save you now. <laughs> Dear brother, your edge needs homing. Good. I was in need of a back scratcher. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
foul monkey! Taste my axe! You call that a duel? The glare up here is dazzling. Fight me in the woods if you have the guts. Why I just turned into a bird? <laughs> you just turned into a bird too? What the fuck? And so ends the last tale of Sun Wukong. You're the trees bugging out. A hero who treasured his freedom above all else. <laughs> Buddhahood he Not attained, his yes. But cumbersome, he found the celestial rules. For he yearned to come back and to revel in the simple joys with Wait, us. So did I die? I died? Little did he know, his choice to forgo the life above only fueled their mistrust. Well, whoever this is, <sighs> holy shit. This stone has stood for countless days on the mountain. Since my youth, they've said that his remains lie within it. <laughs> Unbegotten, undying, such is the nature of a stone monkey. Though his body was broken, his spirit endures. Into six relics he turned, and separately they stay. escaped, choosing to stay hidden. Those are the six senses of the great sage. Yet no one has ever seen them, not in centuries. I'm old now. Venture through all the lands, I cannot. Yet among you, there might be one who is destined. One that shall recover all his scattered relics. And upon the return of the relics to Mount Tuago, he may yet rise again. Black Cold Red Flyer Chapter 1. On the gold bend the toll life of human or for gold. Nowhere better than a home. We to death and ever grow. Huh? Yeah. You see, 
What bliss, my fate well, shows. Well, well. <laughs> Luck's around the corner. Seems like he just fell from a fruit Ooh, yes. tree here. Perfect timing. This peach knew I needed a snack. <laughs> you sneaky rascal. Dad, Bro, I was in me. the apple. I'll make sure you regret it. <laughs> You got a heavy attack too, okay. for pluck your hair and make an offer. Mountain have long been waiting for your arrival. Oh, his spitting image, I'd say. Up ahead is Guan Yin Temple. Once it was bustling with worshippers, before it was ruined by that fire. Ah, then the temple was rebuilt. Oh, what good is it to rebuild a temple if the goodwill of men has been burnt to ashes? You've forgotten this place, but they haven't forgotten you. It's a tough one. Good luck to you! Alright, let's go. We have Okay, let's go. <laughs> Oh, that's a big ass sword he got, dude. 
Shit now, what's up? Oh shit. Oh no. Oh. It's been a while, but the immobilized spell still works. Like a charm. <laughs> Since you hail from Mount Huaguo, it won't hurt to teach you a handy trick. Now, here we go. Give me your hand. There you go. Should you come across any miscreants, just point your finger at them and release this spell. You'll be able to hold them in place while giving yourself a breather. Sadly, mine is but a humble trick. Its power will wear off within a few short moments. Though it's good enough against boneheads like this one. <laughs> anyway, just consider it an ace up your sleeve. The young ones these days know no manners! Fear not! Teach them a lesson with your new spell! <laughs> I tried to get out of there, I couldn't. Young low as shit, uh... No, what? <laughs> That's crazy. I'm not supposed to lose that fight. Ah, uh, some tea up.
Out of that weak ass shit. shit that heals me. Wait, so do I jump down there? A little bit confused here. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I don't jump down there. Just parade in, do you? It's not that simple. Let me transform you into a golden cicada so you may follow the fires ahead and scout this mountain unnoticed. Fly! Just turn me into a bug. What the fuck? It might be humble. 
But my shrine is very versatile. You'll get it soon. of Black Wind Mountain, there are secrets galore. The cicada form, they help you explore. But my fear, jars of wine. this form no, does not the last. If there's you. anything left, and should you find yeah. yourself lost, just follow my voice. Now, off you go. That rusted monk is roaming again. Rest won't come easy tonight. I get over this one. Alright, there it is. Fucking go! You must have spoke of you, the destined one. 